So firstly, I want to talk about the performance. Performance is pretty good. It's not bad at all. And what does happen sometimes is I notice this more with this phone than uh, with the 13 mini more than the uh, any other iPhone, especially my iPhone 10s. It's like sometimes it will just get like these these lags. Just like when doing like certain things, you just get these lags, you know. Opening up apps is great. App Store. It takes a while, but not a while, but it takes it takes a good good second. Performance is good after you know a year. It's uh it's not bad. I'd say my my 10s, which came out in 2018. I feel like performance on that was way better. Even though uh, that may be a uh, pro phone, and this is like I guess just a regular you know regular line iphone but that one's like you know almost two years older and i feel like they they built these uh those older phones a little better than these newer ones so the battery um let me show you my battery health it's at 92 percent after 11 months is i guess not bad you know, obviously, I want you want it to be at 100, right? But it's not bad. So what I really find about battery life is I have to charge it multiple times in a day. I think I am a heavy user. My usage is like five hours. You know, pretty soon I'll uh, have to get a battery replacement. One thing I did notice is that it does get really hot sometimes. The phone, it really gets hot, especially if you have a don't have a case on it and you charge it with the um let's say with a with a 20 watt charger charger uh, it does get pretty hot you know just charging it after you take it out of the charger it's fine but you know just keep that in mind that it does get hot when you when you charge it next i want to talk about the camera camera is you know it's it's okay for a for a phone camera zoom only goes to 5x uh, which is it's like come on, you know Wide angle is all right but Overall the camera is good. I'll, I'll put some pictures up here Okay, so now the hardware So the hardware is um can't really complain you know, it's actually pretty surprising. Um, I've dropped this phone numerous times without a case on it, and you know it, it survived. Um, so you can't really complain about the hardware. The hardware is one thing I'd say is really good about this phone. It's like, you know, it looks great. Hopefully, I don't crack it. It looks good. Um, it's a little dirty, but that's okay. Uh, the speakers have been have kept up really good. They still sound pretty good for a smartphone speaker. You know, I'd say the, the screen size, like, you know, I originally got the screen size just uh, because I thought it'd be more compact. Like, I find that, like, if you use your phone a lot, like, it's best to have a, best to have a bigger screen size, a bigger screen, because you are using it so much, right? You are looking at it so much. I find it's best to have a big screen because you're, because some things just, like, look, they don't look right on it, you know. Everything is formatted and all, but like, like it, it would just be nice to have a big screen, like on my, like on the iPhone XS. You know, that screen size was just perfect. And the one thing I do have to complain about, it's my big complaint. Buy nine video on YouTube or really anywhere, as you can see, it's like, like come on, you know, like what is this here? Like why doesn't it, every app just format it like like this like especially youtube like it, it doesn't format like 21 by 9 video you know and it, and it should because it sucks it's like there's such a nice screen like and i have to look at this notch my overall thoughts do i think that you should buy this phone almost a year later i'd say yeah if you're really specific if you really want a phone like with this size I'd say yeah, and then there's our uh, rumors of uh, this size phone not being continued, right? So this may be the last of the minis. And if that's you, if you really want it, I'd say get it, you know. But wait until the next iPhone comes out. Wait until about September, and then most of these will be a hundred off. Get it then. I, you know, I'd say this is 
pretty good phone. I think I'll keep this phone for another year. Uh, replace the battery and it should be all good. But if you are in the market and you're thinking about this phone, I'll definitely wait till wait until the next iPhone comes out. Check that out. And if you're really interested in this one, just then get this one, you know, because then it'll be a hundred off, and you'll get a deal there. So yeah, it's a good phone either way.